Half a world away from the war, these children of Gaza are getting a taste of normalcy, enjoying simple pleasures and healing. Ahim Musalam was unable to walk for months after his leg was shattered by the Israeli bomb that blew up his home in January. Riddled with shards of glass, his leg was left untreated for months by Gaza doctors who had more serious wounds to tend to. In March, a charity group sent him and his brother Ismail to Greenville in South Carolina for a series of operations so he can walk normally again, though that will take time. I'm feeling uh, very bitter because see my brother uh, good and wa walk now, but uh, there is uh, a two surgery after three months for my brother. Ahim wishes other children injured in Gaza could get the same treatment because he says there are a lot of children who are in far worse condition than he was. Uh, Zaina Abu Ajwa remembers lying under the rubble of their home for hours listening to her brother Adam cry for help outside, unable to reach him. When she was pulled free, her mother and another brother lay dead nearby. I saw Adam and he had like a pool of blood. And I just couldn't believe this is the Adam that was like calling my name all night. How? And, and, and they were like, he's dead. I was like, what? <laughs> no, I was like, no. He's been talking to me all night. There is no way he's dead. Now Adam is very much alive and also in Greenville, undergoing physical therapy on legs that were broken and badly burned. Since January, the Palestine Children's Relief Fund has transported 232 children for medical care around the world that they can't get at home, including nine at cities like Greenville around the U.S. The group plans to move more children out of Gaza and into treatment in the coming months. There's thousands and thousands of kids in Gaza that urgently need medical treatment, so um, as many as we can help, we want to. As the wounded children recover in safety, the best medicine for those still left in Gaza would be an end to Israel's war. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Greenville, South Carolina. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.